Chapter 28 As the plane taxied down the runway, Adelmo's ears perked up at the sound of the familiar pre-flight announcements. The flight attendant's voices echoed through the cabin, reminding passengers to fasten their seatbelts and indicating the locations of the emergency exits. Adelmo couldn't help but feel a sense of anticipation, hoping that this flight would be smoother and more enjoyable than his previous experience. He silently repeated his wish, please be a better flight than the last one, hoping that his journey would be free from any discomfort or turbulence. Gradually, the aircraft gained momentum and began its ascent into the sky. Adelmo could feel the slight jolts and bumps as the plane reached its takeoff speed, but it was nowhere near as nerve-wracking as his previous flight. The turbulence was minimal, and Adelmo found himself relaxing in his seat, relieved that this journey seemed to be off to a better start. He glanced out of the window and marveled at the breathtaking view as the plane climbed to its typical cruising altitude, leaving the ground below and entering the vast expanse of the sky. Wanting to address his immediate needs, Adelmo looked up and pressed the call button to summon a flight attendant. After a few minutes, a friendly stewardess approached him and inquired if he needed any assistance. Adelmo took the opportunity to express his discomfort explaining that he was feeling nauseous and needed to take his medication to ensure a restful sleep during the flight. The stewardess empathetically assured him that they were preparing to serve the meals and would be bringing the food carts around shortly. Adelmo thanked her for her prompt response and understanding, appreciating the attentive service provided by the airline staff. With a sense of relief, he watched as the stewardess walked away, knowing that his needs would be taken care of during the journey. Adelmo glanced around the cabin, his eyes scanning the familiar faces of his fellow passengers. To his surprise, he recognized two individuals from his previous trip. It was an odd coincidence, as he had never expected to encounter the same people again. Curiosity peaked, he couldn't help but wonder what the chances were of them all heading to the same destination. The thought lingered in his mind, adding a touch of intrigue to the journey ahead. Determined to make the flight as comfortable as possible, Adelmo decided to relax and let go of any lingering thoughts. Just as he settled into his seat, a friendly stewardess approached him with a tray of food. Grateful for the offer, he eagerly accepted, his hunger gnawing at him. The sight of the delicious meal made his mouth water, and he couldn't resist the urge to devour it quickly. Hastily unwrapping his silverware, he began savoring each bite, relishing the flavors that satisfied his growling stomach. Time seemed to fly by, and before he knew it, two hours had passed since takeoff. Aware of his need for rest, Adelmo reached into his bag and retrieved a small container of pills. These magical little tablets were his secret weapon for sleeping through long flights. With a sense of relief, he swallowed them down with a sip of his drink. As the minutes ticked by, a drowsy sensation washed over him, making it increasingly difficult to keep his eyes open. Eventually, Fatigue won the battle, and he succumbed to a deep slumber that lasted for the remainder of the flight. The gentle hum of the aircraft and the rhythmic sound of the engines provided a soothing backdrop as Adelmo peacefully journeyed to his destination, blissfully unaware of the passing time. Adelmo found himself trapped in the clutches of a haunting dream, a recurring nightmare that seemed to blur the lines between reality and the ethereal realm of slumber. Each night, as he succumbed to the embrace of sleep, he was transported to a world where the boundaries of his imagination were shattered. This particular night was no exception. As his eyes fluttered open, he was confronted by a terrifying sight. A pack of savage wolves, their eyes gleaming with a feral hunger, poised to pounce upon him. Fear surged through Adelmo's veins, igniting a primal instinct within him. With every ounce of strength he possessed, he fought back against the onslaught of the ferocious beasts. His legs thrashed and his fists swung, delivering powerful blows that momentarily stunned the wolves. Seizing this fleeting opportunity, he managed to break free from their clutches, scrambling to his feet with a renewed determination to escape their relentless pursuit. Adelmo's heart pounded in his chest as he sprinted through the dimly lit streets, his breath ragged and his mind racing. Basin Street stretched out before him, a path to potential salvation. He ran with all his might, his feet pounding against the pavement, 
desperate to put as much distance as possible between himself and the relentless predators. However, his respite was short-lived. The wolves, fueled by an insatiable hunger, quickly regained their footing and resumed their relentless chase. Adelmo's legs burned with exhaustion, but he pushed himself further, his only goal to survive. In a twist of fate, he found himself stumbling upon the eerie St. Louis Cemetery, a labyrinth of above-ground tombs that seemed to hold secrets of their own. As he darted in and out of the towering structures, hope flickered within him. Perhaps, just perhaps, he had managed to elude his pursuers. It was then, as he stumbled upon an open tomb, that he abruptly awoke, his mind plagued with questions about the meaning behind these haunting dreams that continued to torment him night after night. Day 7. Adelmo's eyes snapped open, his heart pounding in his chest as he gasped for air. Beads of sweat dripped down his forehead as he frantically scanned his surroundings. His panic intensified when he saw the crimson stains on his hands and clothes, the metallic scent of blood filling his nostrils. With a jolt, he sprang to his feet, his mind racing with fear and confusion. As Adelmo's gaze darted around the plane, his horror deepened. The once pristine cabin was now a macabre seen straight out of a nightmare. Blood splattered across the walls, pooling on the floor, and smeared on the seats. The eerie silence was only broken by the sound of his own ragged breathing. He stumbled back, his eyes wide with terror, realizing that the other passengers were motionless, their lifeless bodies slumped in their seats. A chill ran down Adelmo's spine as he realized the gravity of the situation. With trembling hands, he made his way towards the cockpit, his footsteps echoing ominously in the empty plane. The sense of isolation and dread weighed heavily on him as he pushed open the door to the cockpit, only to find it empty. The realization that he was alone with only a few survivors in a blood-soaked aircraft, descending towards an unknown destination, sent a shiver down his spine. The first light of dawn peeked through the windows, casting a sinister glow on the horrific scene before him as they approached the Romanian airport, the promise of safety feeling like a distant dream.